हेलो बच्चों द क्वेश्चन इज अकरेंस ऑफ एंडेमिक स्पीशीज इन साउथ अमेरिका एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज ड्यू टू सो एंडेमिक स्पीशीज आर द स्पीशीज विच आर रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू अ पर्टिकुलर एरिया मीन्स दीज स्पीशीज आर फाउंड इन दैट पर्टिकुलर एरिया एंड नो वेयर एल्स सो सच स्पीशीज आर कॉल्ड एंडेमिक टू दैट एरिया नाउ दीज टू साउथ अमेरिका एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया they to represent different continents so these are two different continents and as you all know that different continents have different climatic conditions and different vegetation so the species which are found in those areas are not found in other areas so uh, the major reason of different endemic species of south america which are not found in australia and some species of organisms which are restricted to australia are not found in south america so what is the reason behind this endemism so the reason behind this endemism is the continental separation as uh, earth earlier earth consist of only a single mass of land which is known as pangaea now due to movement in the tectonic plates of earth so due to tectonic plate movements this pangaea it divided and uh, divided in, it divided into several continents so it is known as continental drift means the movement of continents with respect to each other over geological time so with geological time or with the passage of time these continents have drifted apart from each other and now as these two continents suppose this is south america and this is australia now as these two have different climatic conditions and different geographical conditions so due to different topography geography and the climatic condition here the organisms evolved into a different directions so the species evolved and the species now which are found in australia are restricted to this area because of the particular climatic condition geographical conditions they require and also the species which are part of south america they will not be able to survive in australia because of different climatic conditions so this uh, movement of the continents over each other so this is known as the continental separation and it is also known as the continental drift so it is the major reason of evolution of different species on different continents so the right answer of this question is option b all the best